For MidMichigan Health, fiscal year 2016 was an exceptional year. We made advances in patient safety and clinical quality, we enhanced our access to care, and we reinforced our status as a leader in healthcare. In fact, we were named a top 15 health system in the nation by Truven Analytics. An achievement like this does not go unnoticed. It reiterates that MidMichigan Health is the best of the best in healthcare. It reiterates that our patients are the focus of everything we do. So how did we get there? The answer may be simple, but the work and dedication that goes into the recognition of being a top 15 health system is unprecedented. We reached our goals with the commitment of our governance members, our employees, our healthcare providers, our donors and our volunteers, and the support of our community partners and people just like you. When we look at our areas of focus, we hone in on quality and growth and relationships and sustainability. Let's take a look back at this fiscal year to revisit some of the highlights. We'll start with the words of just one of the many lives we have touched. My name is Angela Hathaway. I had the bariatric gastric sleeve surgery through MidMichigan Medical Center Midland, and I've lost 134 pounds. I am a wife to my husband, Keith, and I have two little boys. I've had problems with my knees since I was uh, junior high age, and they were just getting worse. Problems with my back. Everybody suggested maybe if I got the weight off, it might help with my problems. I actually was with my family physician, Dr. Paul Berg, and he was helping me out with one of my foot problems. I said, well, I've heard that being overweight affects your feet and all your joints, of course. And he suggested that maybe I should look into gastric surgeries. The first six months after my procedure was a difficult time because you're still not allowed to eat a lot of things. But progressively, as the weight kept coming off, I got so much more energy. I was actually doing 5Ks, was able to play with my kids, and I didn't mind going shopping or doing all those normal things that a lot of people take for granted because I was always too tired to do them. I was able to do the things that normal people would do and actually enjoy them. When people ask me about bariatric surgery, I don't really sugarcoat it. I let them know that it is not easy. It is a tool to help them, and that with some hard work and dedication to the program that is outlined to them, that they could be very successful, and it's rewarding, and it's the best decision I ever made. What a beautiful story. We are proud to have helped her in her journey to wellness and are committed to doing the same for all of those in the communities we serve. The dedication to our patients is one that we take seriously. In fact, we hold daily safety briefings at each of our five medical centers every single day. The 15-minute huddles, like you see here, help to identify, address, and resolve safety issues of concern in a timely manner. And what a year for growth. In April 2016, MidMichigan Health welcomed Alpena Regional Medical Center to the MidMichigan Health family, now renamed MidMichigan Medical Center Alpena. Alpena is now the fifth hospital in our health system. The Alpena leadership, employees, healthcare providers, and volunteers have been so welcoming, and the community is absolutely beautiful, simply second to none. We're also thrilled about an exciting development in Mount Pleasant. In February of 2017, we will open MidMichigan Medical Center Mount Pleasant. We are consolidating many services in the area under one roof with new and expanded services, including an ambulatory surgery center, and a freestanding emergency department. There are also many other areas of growth, too numerous to mention. Building and sustaining relationships with our communities is another attribute of a top 15 health system. This past fiscal year, we welcomed physicians to our new residency program in Elma. We joined fellow hospitals in the Federation of Care Network, now known as Affirmant Health Partners and partnered with area agencies in Clare and Gladwin for a large-scale emergency disaster drill. What's more, we've purchased new equipment, 
thanks to our donors, our annual holiday giving programs, and grants received by great organizations such as the Elsa U. Pardee Foundation. And we're pleased to continue our tradition of providing area women in need with a free mammogram in October. More than 100 women benefited from this in fiscal year 16. The healthcare industry continues to be challenged and our teams work diligently to create and meet sustainable goals that will positively impact our patients and the way we do healthcare. Here are just a few examples of what we are doing. We are moving to a single electronic medical record. This project will bring all of our medical centers, our provider offices, and our outpatient care facilities onto the same platform. We've transitioned our nursing homes to the Poplinski Group Incorporated of Farwell, Michigan. Their caring philosophy mirrored that of our nursing homes and was one of the guiding principles we established when finding a new owner for these facilities. MidMichigan Health was awarded a large rural telemedicine grant from the United States Department of Agriculture. The monies will be used to expand specialty medical services into rural areas of need. And this past summer, we celebrated our three-year anniversary with the University of Michigan Health System. Working collaboratively, we have expanded access and enhanced the level of care provided in the 22-county region served by MidMichigan. With the university, we're more than we were before. Our alliance has exceeded expectations and we are making our communities healthier together. From our viewpoint, fiscal year 2016 was an exceptional one indeed. You have our promise that we will continue to deliver the highest quality of care because you know what? You deserve nothing less.